He's worn many hats at John Wood Community College during his 13 years of employment. Basketball coach, AD, dean of students, amongst many others. We are just going to ask him to wear to wear what hat and to wear well as our next men's basketball coach. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to introduce our new men's basketball coach, Brad Wake. This is cool. <laughs> Dr. McGee, uh, Josh Raby, thank you. I uh, really appreciate the opportunity. Um, I'm internally grateful, uh, honored, and humbled by your willingness to carry out my vision of Quincy University basketball. Coaching journeys can be a windy road, often filled with multiple stops and multiple area codes. Uh, mine has not been that. I started coaching 25 years ago, uh, actually working at the Foot Locker in the Quincy Mall, making $1,000 a year across town at John Wood Community College. Uh, minus three year stint um, on the hill uh, across the river at Cold Wish Stockton. John Wood has been my coaching home ever since. John Wood's helped raise my kids. Uh, it's provided our family with countless memories and truly has been filled with some of the best people that I know. I will always thank the John Wood family for allowing me to be along for the ride. But with that said, a handful of opportunities over the years have come to Blanton to chase this, this college basketball, this coaching sort of journey. But the true uniqueness of building a basketball culture and a program in this area has always been a factor in me staying put. Winning matters everywhere, but winning the right way with the right people uh, is celebrated differently in this area. I love that. It has driven me with every recruiting cycle, every first team meeting, every practice, play the right way with the right people and find a way to win. It not only changes the student athlete experience, but this community celebrates that. Coaching provides the gift of teamings, and I take that really, really seriously. I truly believe the one compliments anyone in this room could ever receive is that you're a great teammate. When I say play the right way, with the right people, and find ways to win, I mean surround yourself with great teammates. It elevates the experience, it elevates the lifetime connections, and it elevates the results. That is a major reason of why I do what I do. So when Josh and I sort of um, started a conversation last week, uh, there was absolute intrigue on my end, not because I needed a job, not because I was looking to leave the job that I had, but because building a basketball program with great teammates matters here. It will matter to the large network of Quincy University alumni. It will matter to all of my former players, somewhere in the back, um, that I will constantly, consistently try to honor in everything that we do. It will matter to the area's basketball fan, and it became very clear that it matters to this administration. All moments matter. Championship matters. Championship moments really matter. So from that conversation, some urgency and efficiency has happened in the last seven days. Uh, people moved, uh, the ball, if you will, moved, uh, and we ended up here today. My experience in doing this for over 20 years, so that when the ball moves and when people move, you get to have press conferences. Our team will be focused on the ball moving and people moving. So this is the first of many press conferences here at Quincy University. So to our alumni, we'll be relentless in our pursuit of making you proud with big time teammates. To the QU faculty and staff, I am anxious to work with you to provide an educational experience that produces big time leaders in our communities. Our partnership is one that I am looking forward to. To our current players, we're going to be relentless in representing this university both on and off the floor through humility, consistent work, and being a great teammate. To our area high school coaches, I'm not going anywhere, and I'll talk to you all real, real soon once again. To the prospects and the recruits, we're here, and we're going to be relentless in finding you and surrounding you with big-time people, stacking days towards big-time moments. Your goals will become our goals and our goals will become yours. To the GOEC and the NCAA Division II basketball community, we're here 
Uh, we will be relentless in representing one of the elite conferences, one of the elite levels in this country. And we are excited to find our way into those championship moments. Before I close, I need to spend a little bit of time uh, recognizing uh, my best teammates. Uh, my wife, Inky, is here. Um, many, of you, many of you in this room know her. And if there's any question of my ability to be able to recruit, uh, Exhibit A, that kind of she, uh, she, said 20, she said yes over 25 years ago, um, and, and, and we're here. As Josh said earlier, sometimes winners win. Uh, my youngest Luke is here. Uh, his biggest concern is his access to the gym, um, to be able to get shots, and his challenge if I can recruit guys that can, rec that can shoot better than him. We're going to give it a shot. My two oldest kids, Cindy and Jake, um, they're not here. They're chasing their higher education goals. Cindy's in graduate school in St. Louis. Um, Jake just finished her station up his freshman year at Illinois College over in Jacksonville. Um, I got to thinking about it last night. That little sucker, he's, he's won an NCAA tournament game before I won one as a coach. So we're a relatively competitive family. Um, so one owe him, but Jake, I'm chasing you a little bit. But I, and to my parents, Dennis and Connie, um, who drug us to Quincy, Illinois uh, in the mid 80s, um, enrolled us in a parochial school right across the street, like St. Francis. Um, St. Francis and uh, Quincy Notre Dame uh, has done us pretty well um, and really changed our family's trajectory. Today is another part of that story. I'm so thankful. We don't expect this to be easy. We know winning is incredibly hard, incredibly hard. We're going to show up, we're going to work to find solutions and at best in ways that add value. So go on, and we're happy to answer any questions. <laughs>